Autism Awareness Month kicks off in Tobago. Preschool's Project Future comes to the office of the Chief Secretary. And the YES program ends with Youth Development Workshop. Info Update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. There is a stigma attached to those affected by autism, and unfairly so, largely due to a lack of knowledge about the condition. That's why a month of awareness activities has been planned. Kunta Freitas has the details. It's Autism Awareness Month, and the group Autism Tobago is marking the occasion in partnership with the Scarborough Library Facility to educate the public on the issue. Chairman of Autism Tobago, Ms. Neil Graham, says the aim is to help the public understand the condition especially those whose loved ones are affected. We have challenging behaviour and like I previously stated, stigmas attached with autism. So we'll be focusing on some of the behaviours that teachers and parents of autistic children will have to face on a daily basis. Ms Graham says often children who behave differently are ridiculed or treated as a bad child. She adds that sometimes people do not know how to identify when someone has autism. We just hope that people have a better understanding of what it is to be autistic. I want when people come and they are in the lecture that they will have somewhat of an, an understanding of what autistic people go through on a daily basis. She hopes that this initiative will change the attitudes of some people towards those affected by autism. I'm Kundi Freitas for Info Update. A group of preschoolers paid a visit to the office of the Chief Secretary and it wasn't just a field trip. Omadara Mills has more. You might think that preschoolers are too young to talk about social issues, but Andrea Rivas, owner of Little Hearts Learning Centre, says her school's visit to the Chief Secretary of London is a part of the school's project called Project Future. So we have the luxury of having them at this age and we give them the foundation. It is important that they not only read about things or they hear it from us, but they get this hands-on knowledge of, of what they're actually going to be uh, reading in the book. So we found it very important for them to have that. Um, and social issues start from when they're small. Miss Rivers says such experiences are important as children learn a lot at a tender age. Well, it is important that they get to touch and feel, as it were, um, what they will be reading about. Because it is, it is awesome to read something in a book. It is great to hear it from the teachers and, um, and the people around you and your parents. But when you are able at this age to get that first-hand look, it no longer becomes something that I'm dreaming about and it's all the way out there. She hopes trips like these will help the youngsters develop big aspirations and also achieve them. I'm Omadara Mills for Info Update. Developing the youth is a vital part of preparing for the future. That's the aim of a recent hospitality workshop. Caroline Wallace has the details in this story. The Youth Energized for Success Yes program closed recently with a workshop designed to help young Tobagonians boost personal development. Lisa Backles, owner of Lisa Backles Consultancy, which facilitated the workshop, says it's geared toward helping young people assess themselves. I would say that this Life Skills program would be of benefit to not only young persons, but anyone in Tobago who is interested in, first of all, taking time off to take a, a deep look at yourself. Ms. Bako says the second phase of the workshop dealt with individuals understanding themselves. It, this program affords you the opportunity to take that look at yourself, to look at some of the choices that you are currently making, to see whether it's the best course for you to be in and maybe position yourself in a new course. Setting new goals and objectives, including time management, was also part of the workshop's focus for the young people. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Josanne Brassi, and you've been listening to Info Update.